Right, how are we doing folks? Welcome back to another IKS chat room uh, discussion. This is another radiation one. Um, I have another source we can have a look at. We looked at last time, we looked at the Immersium uh, uh, smoke alarm um, radiation, uh, basically. And today we're going to be looking at what, you know, the mantles, basically, like the lanterns that you get, those lamps, that you pump it and it's got like a bag inside it and it basically it gets brighter and brighter. Those little bags are radioactive. Basically thorium, uh, that's what the radiation is called. Um, so we're going to have a look into this folks. Many mantles and retail lanterns still contain thorium. With 50 million mantles sold in 2000 containing radioactive element, thorium is rather safe. So we're, we're talking about relatively safe again, folks. It's not crazy. It's not going to go like into meltdown or anything like that. Right, so that's crazy stuff, folks. Um, yeah, so we get one here. I bought this on eBay. You get them on eBay, it's still on there now. But in the bag there. Keep it in the bag, folks, because it's, um, it's a cloth material and you don't want to be breathing anything in. Because, again, if this goes inside you, it's not going to be good, is it? I'd say this is more radioactive, or more on the guy count side, than this. So, let's check it out. This went into, I believe, the 2,000 counts per minute. So, we do that, and then, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Look at that, that's gone straight up, isn't it? How shocking. What was the other one? It went up to 360, didn't it? Or something like that. This one's going straight over that. So this is just, this is off a lamp that's brought, you know, in, in the early 2000, year 2000. 50 million of these were sold, basically. And you've got, you know, you've been sleeping next to these lamps in your campsite and all that stuff, folks. It's shocking, isn't it? You just don't know. You don't know what sort of stuff. You know, we're in thousand now, look. Thousand counts a minute. I know it's not crazy. It's not going to kill anybody, but... but Long-term exposure, if you add this near you or something like that, not good. This is radioactive, folks. That's why the guy cat is making a beeping sound. We'll pop it down here. What have we got? We're at 1,468 counts per minute. We'll just leave that there for a second. I just want to look into this. Right. We we, we got stuck at 1,360, wasn't it? Counts per minute, folks. So, yes. Radioactive indeed. I've been looking up uh, the information about it, and basically... Yes, it's very complicated to sort this out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be very lazy. I know you're going to get some flack for this, but listen to this. I'm basically going to get the computer to say it for me. Thorium is radioactive and produces the radioactive gas Radon-220 as one of its decay products. Moreover, when heated to incandescence, the thorium volatilizes its in-growth radio daughters particularly Radiant 224. Despite its very short half-life, Radium quickly replenishes from its radio parent Thorium 228, and every new heating of the mantle to incandescence releases a fresh flush of Radium 224 into the air. This byproduct can be inhaled if the mantle is being used indoors, and is an internal alpha emitter radio toxicity concern. Secondary decay products of thorium include radium and actinium. Because of this, there are concerns about the safety of thorium mantles. Some nuclear safety agencies make recommendations about their use. So how about that? Don't know if that was lazy of me, folks, but uh, yeah. Gas mantles then. So if you out camping, folks, just have a think before you start up your gas lamp. No, it's fine. It's it's not going to harm you. It's not going to do anything to you there, folks. Absolutely safe. 
As long as, like it says in there, do not ingest it. That's all you got to do. Just don't ingest that. Because that's where it becomes a problem, doesn't it? Um, so, yes. Thanks very much for watching, folks. Uh, I'm always looking into radioactive uh, information and stuff like that. I'm very fascinated with it myself. Um, but it's really hard to get your head around, isn't it, really? So, yeah. Thanks very much, folks. Check out Instagram, Facebook and all that jazz. Um, the channel and all that. Uh, the merch for the other channel. Uh, got some hoodies coming soon, I believe, as well. Um, yeah. Smashing stuff. See you soon.